Imagine waking up one day in a world without history. A world where the past isn't just forgotten, but meticulously reshaped by unseen powers. Welcome to the chilling reality of the silo, an underground society bound by manipulated truths and distorted histories. But what if I told you that our own reality isn't so different from that of the silo's inhabitants? That we too could be living under the shadow of unchallenged narratives and unquestioned truth. Join me as we delve into the dangerous implications of a society built on deceptions. We'll explore how propaganda shapes our perceptions, discuss why the silo is a chilling sci-fi spin on Plato's allegory of the cave, examine how society constructs us and the consequences of critical thinking. If these questions intrigue you, then hit the subscribe button and join the Soulful Cinema community. Don't miss my deep dives into the mind-bending worlds of movies and TV shows. Forged Reality Silo is a captivating Apple TV Plus series inspired by Hugh Howey's novels. While I haven't read the books, our discussion here will be strictly focused on the TV adaptation. Silo immerses us in a dystopian future where approximately 10,000 people are trapped in a massive 144-level underground stronghold. For over two centuries, generations have been born, lived, and died in this stark underworld, oblivious to their origin or the duration of their confinement. The inhabitants follow rules they believe protect them. What if a bunch of rule breakers decide they want to see for themselves what it's like above ground? They somehow manage to open that door? We are done. Their only glimpse of the outside world is a screen masquerading as a window, portraying a barren wasteland strewn with bodies. The image carefully curated by the powers that be raises doubts. Could the truth be buried, ready to be discovered by the fearless and curious? Such is the classic setting of dystopia, a genre that exposes societies that have taken a dreadful turn. Opposite to utopia, dystopian narratives reveal worlds steeped in oppression, suffering, and a significant lack of hope. So as we delve deeper into the silo, we must ask ourselves, what happens when the curtain is pulled back on this carefully constructed reality? They're just not worth risking a life for, especially when you don't even know what they are. If these things aren't worth risking our lives for, why do they make it a risk to our lives to have them? The silo social fabric is a masterclass in manipulation. History and reality are twisted, propaganda runs rampant, and there's an intense class divide. The tireless denizens of the deep down, whose skills are critical for survival, face disdain from those who dwell in the upper levels. I was told to stock the fridge in the apartment, but I have no idea what you people eat down deep. Children, mostly, sometimes each other. Now, here's the kicker. The inhabitants of the silo are almost oblivious to their history and basic earthly concepts. They've never seen the ocean. They don't know what the stars are. There are these lights in the sky. Hmm. What are they? I have no idea. But what's the big deal about knowing history? History isn't just a chronicle of past events. It's a societal anchor molding our identity and values, yet it can become a tool for power manipulation. In oppressive regimes, the selective reshaping or erasing of history can manipulate public perception, fostering desired narratives and legitimizing authority. This strategy, often involving glorification or vilification of certain events or figures, aims to control the narrative and serve those in power. It's a form of propaganda that can quell dissent, reinforce power hierarchies, and perpetuate injustice. Employed by various regimes throughout history, it underscores the vital role of transparency, truth, and critical thinking in society. They wanted to erase the past and anyone who tried to preserve it. Silo, however, goes beyond manipulating history. It brings the very nature of reality into question. For instance, the series frequently questions the reality presented through screens. Is the external world a wasteland or a green utopia? This resonates with our current reality where AI and deepfakes are blurring lines between fact and fiction. 
Take the widely circulated doctored image of Pope Francis in a puffer coat as an example. With advancing AI technology, the veracity of what we see on screens is increasingly uncertain. Silo transcends mere criticism of propaganda, inviting us to question the philosophy of our perception of reality. None of this is real. Do you see? They want to keep you in here so they're lying to you. It's green out there. There's green trees, there's blue skies. This compelling sci-fi series echoes Plato's allegory of the cave. To those unfamiliar, Plato's allegory depicts people confined in a dark cave from birth observing shadows on a wall cast by objects passing before a fire behind them. Over time, these shadows become their accepted reality. One day, a cave dweller is liberated and exposed to the fire and the world outside, initially overwhelming but ultimately enlightening. This freed prisoner sees the true forms that cast the shadows and grasps his past understanding of reality was incomplete. Despite his attempts to share this revelation, the remaining cave dwellers reject his insights, preferring their familiar shadows. Plato's allegory metaphorically captures the human condition. Those who perceive reality solely based on limited experiences and senses, and the journey to enlightenment that involves questioning and challenging established beliefs. Silo masterfully encapsulates this allegory. Its inhabitants must decide, adhere to the shadows or pursue the truth. Why are we here? How long have we been here? How much time do we have left? This dilemma is reminiscent of The Matrix and its red pill versus blue pill quandary. Maybe that's not what it is. What if it's just rocks and bushes? I know what I'm seeing. Not if it's just what the computer wants you to see. Why would they do that? To keep us in here. Silo bears a strong, real-world resemblance to North Korea, a place where information is strictly controlled. With no internet access, the North Korean populace is fed a carefully curated and often distorted narrative. The regime uses tools like films depicting a famished U.S. to manipulate reality, showing how power can control perception and control people. As we comfortably immerse ourselves in Silo, it invites reflection. What shadows are we content with in our reality? Are we actively seeking and questioning or simply observing the dance of shadows on our walls? What if everything you've been told by the people you love was in fact just one big lie? Societal constructs. So who are we truly when our history and identity are stripped away? Maurice Halbwax, a renowned French sociologist, proposed that our memories are not solely individualistic. Instead, they're intertwined within the fabric of shared societal structures. These collective memories give shape to our shared identity and communal understanding of history. This concept is underscored in Silo, where authorities strive to curtail reproduction among the curious inhabitants, fearing their potential to reshape collective identities. They wanted us to die off. They made us think we had a chance of having a family, but we never did. The term social construct refers to the theory of social constructionism, which argues that our reality and self-perception aren't inherent truths, but constructs influenced by societal norms. In Silo, the conception of normal differs significantly from ours. For instance, the stringent prohibition of relics skews the inhabitants' understanding of human culture and history. We've seen this one before. So it's key to understand that our worldview isn't static. It's more akin to an evolving narrative shaped by our collective social interactions. In Silo, these narratives are primarily dictated by the authorities. Don't let me like you. Who will not let me? What do you mean? Who are they? Hence, Silo showcases a potentially catastrophic interference with our essence as individuals and as a society. While the manipulation depicted in the series is extreme, it reflects real-world tactics used by oppressive regimes to control perception, information, and ultimately, people. Consequences. In the riveting universe of Silo, we witness the profound aftermath of embracing the metaphorical red pill challenging the confines of one's reality and confronting the ensuing existential dilemmas. 
Characters who dare to question their constructed reality face severe consequences. The price for seeking truth is steep. It often results in death, as exemplified by Juliet's mother who chose to die rather than live a lie, or a complete psychological break, as seen with Gloria, who retreated into a self-created world of hallucinations to escape the harsh reality. They may be keeping me drugged, but at least I can escape. The implications of these dire consequences aren't confined to dystopian societies or authoritarian regimes. They reverberate in our world too, impacting individuals across the societal spectrum. High profile whistleblowers like Edward Snowden or Julian Assange face criminal charges for challenging the established order, while ordinary people who question the fundamental underpinnings of our societal structure face backlash. In a conformist world, challengers of established paradigms, whether questioning capitalism, procreation norms, religious tenets, or social conventions, risk ostracism. They face an existential crossroads. To remain comfortably within societal borders, stifling their queries, or to venture into truth-seeking, risking societal exile. In Silo, those bold enough to question face cleaning, a euphemism for exclusion and even death. However, the irony lies here. It's these very outsiders, the brave few who dare to question established norms, who have propelled human progress. They defy outdated beliefs and practices like Giordano Bruno challenging the church's geocentric view of the universe, Charles Darwin introducing the theory of evolution, or Galileo Galilei asserting the heliocentric model. Despite the societal backlash they faced, these individuals have been the architects of humanity's evolution. Conclusion Silo, a compelling narrative of a dystopian future, does more than entertain. It holds up a mirror to our own world, reflecting the trials and triumphs of those who dare to question societal norms. Like the characters in Silo, we are at a crossroads. We can accept the world as it's presented to us, or we can summon the courage to question, to seek out the truth. As we've seen with Silo, these narratives prompt us to step out of our comfort zones and venture into the unknown. I invite you to join this journey of discovery. Subscribe to Soulful Cinema Channel to become part of our community of truth seekers. If you found value in this video, please give it a like and ring the bell to stay updated on future explorations what do you think about Silo? How do you see societal constructs playing out in your own life? Share your insights in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Stay curious, keep seeking, and never stop questioning.